of Americans on the other side of that wall. You're, you're seeing it all, all wrong if you if you don't understand this concept. And people in the high, highest places of this government do not understand it because they're facilitating more. They're not they're not enforcing the border. It's 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 incredibly dangerous. It's incredibly insulting um, to our, our intelligence, but mostly to children who could be being rescued. But instead, come on in. Come on in, and, and your trafficker can just walk you across the border. And in fact, we'll pay for the last leg of it. Just get the kid into the country, and he can be unaccompanied. There's been over 200,000 unaccompanied minors um, who have come across the border just in the last few years. And they come across, and thousands of them are under five years old. So and they come across, I've been there, they come across with a little name, their sponsor, you know, John Smith, here's his phone number. And the, the government officials are forced. To call the number and say we got this kid is he yours yes he's mine no vetting no dna test no background check um they used to have to come pick the kid up now our taxpayer dollars put him on put the kids on a bus on a plane and send them to the sponsor i mean it is it, it's it's heart-wrenching what's going on but th those are some of the thoughts that come to me when i think about that, that very pivotal scene in the